This is the talk of Music City Real Estate. Super Talk 99.7 WTN, the talk of Music City Real Estate, where we educate and motivate all things real estate. Hey, this is Carrie Ann with CMG Financial and my mortgage team, and welcome back. It's Sunday evening. We are so glad to have all of our listeners here tonight. Hey, remember, this show is solely based on all of your questions. We are driven by your help. So please, if you have time, make sure to send all of your questions to questions at talkmusiccity.com. That's questions at talkmusiccity.com. Hey, and this show is also a podcast, so please listen at your leisure. We're on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Music, and others. You can also watch us on YouTube or my favorite, Facebook. Simply search the Talk of Music City. Hey, so my partner in crime, Monty Moore, He is not with us this evening, but I am so lucky to have the one and only Dustin Black in the studio. Welcome, Dustin. Thank you so much, Carrie, and I'm happy to be here. Yes. This is exciting. Yes, I am so excited because you are in for a treat. All of those listeners out there that are business owners, those that are looking to grow your business, uh, Dustin has an amazing moving company here to keep it in the theme of real estate. So a great uh, residential moving company called Black Tie Moving, and really excited to talk about your story this evening, talk about um, how it's important to have a moving company, a quality moving company on your side, um, and you know how uh, you can make the process go really smooth by the end of their move as well. So excited to have you here. So welcome. Thank you so much. This is exciting. I love what you guys are doing and educating the Nashville community on real estate and all these other topics. This uh, This is amazing. Yes. Well, thank you so much. So Dustin, your story is one. I always say that you want to take pause and listen closely because um, we have something in common from um, your previous career in the mortgage world, but I love hearing your story because you, um, you know, saw a need and you really just made a business around that need, right? Correct. Correct. And so, um, share a little bit about your story. I know it um, goes a little bit back there. Sure. So, yeah. Sure. I'll take you way back. I love it. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I grew up in Memphis, Tennessee, so not far from Nashville, obviously, and. My father owned a, you know, just small family uh, business in in the moving industry. So he started a his moving company when I was four years old, when he got out of the army, okay. and I grew up working for my father. And and you know, uh, since I was old enough to carry a box, probably about nine go. years old, and <clears throat> he had a an incredible. Um, uh, you know, he had an incredible company, and it, it was small, and and you know he had he had built it and worked really hard. But you know, unfortunately, you know us in the moving business, one of our biggest, um, I guess, rocks in our shoes is really you know the the labor force, and right. um, his men would not show up, and therefore I was always his insurance policy. So uh, <laughs> until I was about eighteen and, and got out of high school, um, I, I worked for his moving company yeah. and, and moved furniture and and you know answered his phone and, you know, dispatched his operation. And, you know, it really taught me a lot about work ethic. Right. You know, when, when my friends were playing and, you know, doing all this fun stuff, you know, I was moving furniture, you know, all <laughs> in the summers and, and on the weekends. And, you know, back then I really didn't, really didn't understand why right. he put me through, you know, all of that. He didn't just, you know, let me go have fun and play with the other kids, but, um, which I got plenty of time to do that as well. But, um, he, he really did put me, put me to work. And he, when I was nine, um, he would actually go out and, and not charge the customers, obviously for, for a child working. <laughs> <laughs> on their job sites, but uh, but he would pay me out of his pocket, and and he would, um, you know, give the give the customers money to tip me and and make me feel like I did a, a great job and, and inspire me to to do more and and to keep working hard. So um, that was you know that was uh, I guess I got about nine years you know moving experience before I was out of high school, wow. and, and I. Uh, I got hurt playing ball when I was in high school. I severed my meniscus in my patella tendon and I lost my scholarships. Mm. And unfortunately, you know, we weren't a real wealthy family. My parents couldn't afford to send me to college. And um, I really did, I didn't know what I was going to do. So uh, my dad said, well, now you can stay home and run the family business. <laughs> and I said, absolutely not. You see, because I grew up kind of despising the industry, not because I, I had to work so hard as a, as a young kid. And, you know, most kids don't like to work really hard. They right. like to play and have fun. <clears throat> um, but really, the people that I was around, uh, I was working alongside, you know, 
I took a, a lot of pride in what I did. It was my father's company, and and uh, a lot of these other guys just didn't. Mm-hmm. And you know, they would damage clients' furniture. Oh. Um, you know, you really never knew. I mean, a lot of them were felons and you know drug addicts, and and you know, there's not a, a long line. Uh, of people that are sure. that are lining up to come move furniture for you know ten dollars an hour. Right. It's just um, obviously you know, it's very hard work and and not a lot of pay back then. So you know we you know we I kind of grew up kind of despising the industry almost mm-hmm. um, just because of the people that I had to kind of go into these clients' homes with. And um, you know when I got out of when I got out of high school, um, I moved to Dallas. Fort Worth and, and got into uh, the apartment leasing. Okay. So I was making like $13 an hour and they gave me a Woo-hoo. free place to live. And I was like, man, sign me up. Right. Um, but, you know, it, it was so again, my customers were, were moving, right? They were sure. moving into their apartment complexes and I always heard these horror stories, right? Like we've all heard somebody or had, you know, obviously most of us probably experienced them ourselves. Right. Yeah. Just a, a horrible, you know, these horrible moving experiences and horror stories. So, you know, um, I continued to, you know, just listen to my customers, take feedback. I then grew and got into the mortgage industry and, mm-hmm. and kind of started in the mail room at Countrywide and Bank of America Home Loans and uh, grew to be uh, the national sales trainer there. And um, I ended up opening my own mortgage company uh, shortly after. And <clears throat> I sold it about a year and a half after I started okay. it. And that was in 2011. Um there was a my partners were was a big asset management sure, firm yeah. and they they decided they owned the majority unfortunately and they decided to sell but they gave me a little payout and, and I was like man I was kind of burnt out of the mortgage industry and I'd, I'd been because you know, I'd done that's all I'd really right. ever done other than um, you know lease apartments in my professional career Isn't it so. when you look back thinking back like everything happens for a reason you know oh, yeah. so you're so probably blessed now that they forced you to sell at the time you absolutely know? You know? yeah because i would i would have probably still been there right in you the, know? doing that industry yeah absolutely and, and nothing you know nothing it's mortgage industry carrie it's a great industry yeah, yeah um but you know we did have a cut this was a you know right after the 2008 right. 2009 mm-hmm. you know mortgage crisis and um the industry was was pretty shaky at the time so you know i i at the time, we, we had a, me and my wife were building, we're having our first baby. We were uh, building our first home. And um, I was kind of looking for a job. You know what I mean? I started a, a venture capital firm and did that for about six months out of my house. And I was like, man, <laughs> uh, reading executive summaries all day is not, in, you know, in, in, my, in my house is not really, you know, what, I, what, what I'm doing. passionate about. Yeah. Right? So, um during this time, so we had this uh, we had this move coming up, and I called all the, you know, top companies, all the um, the you know national companies that yeah. were in our area. I asked a lot of friends and family, and uh, we we ended up choosing one, obviously, and and they showed up to our home on on move day, and it was a big day for us. Obviously, there's it's a very stressful time in a consumer's uh, life. They say death, divorce, and moving yes. is, are the three yes. most stressful things we do. Sometimes <laughs> more than one of those are occurring at the same time, and. You you know, it was, um, you know, that morning I remember opening my door and these six guys walking up to me and I didn't know if I was going to get moved or robbed. You, you know oh. what I mean? They were, um, you know, they looked like they had just crawled out of the federal penitentiary. <laughs> you know, they tattoos on their face and, and uh, you know, um, not in uniform. They were smoking cigarettes in my front yard. Yeah. <clears throat> and, you know, they pulled up in a beat up truck that had nasty moving blankets on. I was like, you know, th- I, I didn't try to find the cheapest moving company. I hired actually the the top independent moving company in the nation. Okay. And they um, they came in and over three days um, moved moved my household. They damaged about $30,000 worth of oh. my goods and charged me like $13,000 to move. Oh, my. And um, after a you know, two-month claims process, they sent me a check for $321 You're to kidding. replace my $30,000 in, in no. furnishings that they had damaged. And, uh, you know, we I was... Like 28, 29 at the time, and and um, it's not like I just had the money to go out right. and replace them, right? So, right. Um, all of these things that we'd invested, you know, so much in in our in our home, and and uh, and you know, really just in our families, it's our stuff. It doesn't matter how much it costs; it's our stuff, right. and it's and it's valuable to us. So, um, I had so I had just a terrible consumer experience, yeah. and you know, after all the research that I did, uh, I was in the the mortgage industry. I sent a, a, a kind of just a 
uh, poll email out to my uh, to my real estate database, and they I said, do you have a you know do you have a moving company that you refer and recommend? If so, who? And if not, why? Right. And ninety three percent of them sent me an email back, or the ninety three percent that responded say that said that they did not, and that. Um, you know, for for a multitude of reasons, they sure. didn't feel comfortable with, you know, referring moving companies because there were so many things that could go wrong. Right. They could, they didn't. Uh, it's a it's traditionally known as a very poor service level industry. So we, um, you know, I, I kind of took all of that feedback and I designed black tie moving really for the consumer because really people really we deserve to be you know, served at a much higher level at such a stressful time in our life. Yes, and they're really I just didn't see you know, a, a company that fulfilled all of cons- those consumers' needs or those yeah. homeowners' needs. So um, that's when the Black Tie brand was born. And that was uh, 2013, April of 2013, we did our first move. And I think we're coming up on move number like 66,000 in that wow. first six years. So that is amazing. It's been, it's been exciting. Um, you know, we're, we're in, we have about 35 locations now across the country. Mm-hmm. Um, we started it in Dallas, then moved in, uh, then moved back to my home state of Tennessee and Love it. The Memphis location. And then um, our Nashville location. And it just kind of started to spread like wildfire. Um, after that, so amazing. We're this is this is exciting. Well, we're so excited to have the CEO of Black Tie Moving here with us this evening, and just talk about you know business growth and you know thinking outside the box. You know, taking a need in the industry and creating a business around it um, is one that uh, we all can can learn from. And there's so much more we want to talk about. Um, we want to talk about the Inc. 5000. There's some exciting um, news and some great congratulations Thank we want to share um, to everybody about. Um, your successes with that fastest growing moving company of the United States. Is that right? America? That's right. That's I love right. that. For I love three, that. Three, three, three years, years consecutively. So, hey, so we're going to just take a short break, but when we return, we're going to talk more with Dustin Black, the CEO of Black Tie Moving Company. You've been listening to the talk of Music City Real Estate. Super Talk 99.7 WTN, the talk of Music City Real Estate, where we educate and motivate all things real estate. Hey, this is Carrie Ann with CMG Financial and my mortgage team. And we've got the CEO of Black Tie Moving, Dustin Black, in the studio tonight. Again, welcome here, Dustin. Yes, ma'am. All right, so we were talking all about his story, which was one that is quite impressive. Love that you learned work ethic at a really young age and how to provide quality service from your dad, it sounds like, which is exciting. Exciting. Absolutely. And we were just talking about how you have been awarded your entire company um, third year in a row, Inc. 5000. Why don't you share a little bit about that? What is that? Absolutely. So the Inc. 5000 is a, a list of Inc. Magazine's 5,000 fastest growing companies in okay. America. I'm sorry. Private companies in America. Private. So, Love it. Um, so these are the, the fastest growing private companies in America. They have the Inc. 5000 and they have the Inc. 500. So okay. um, the fi- Inc. 500 is obviously um, more of elite, an elite list. It's the top 500 fastest growing companies in America. Uh, we were fortunate enough to make it make that list once in our first year. Awesome. We, we fell at 391 in 2017. In 2018, we were 1126. And now this year, we have been awarded... Um, the the place of fifteen fourteen so that's amazing yeah we're uh, we're super excited and, and you know blessed to uh, have have kind of this three peat that most companies um, you know could could only dream of only only uh, a fraction of companies that apply to the Inc five thousand right. um, actually ever make it and. Uh, once you make it, uh, only one out of eight companies makes it more than once. So wow. for us to do it three years in a row is pretty, pretty exciting. Yes. So impressive. So there's are many different factors that go into getting this award, maybe um, revenue percentages or growth over a certain time. Correct. You know? so three-year growth rate okay. is what they look like. Okay. That's what they look Very at based good. off of revenue. I mean, that is amazing to, to take something from scratch, you know, one moving truck, right? I sure. think we're going to talk a little bit about that, yeah. but to, to think that you've been able to, to help, you know, change a lot lives of so many because really I love your saying you know we move people I think that's important you just don't move furniture you move people Absolutely. and that I think that makes um, a huge difference when you lead with your heart um, and that's what's been impressive with with me so you know we were talking earlier too about this industry you know it, it attracts a lot of blue-collar you know 
labor folks, which is great. It's a, it's a need, right? Sure. Um, and sometimes, you know, like we say, maybe there's not a lot of care. It's a clock in, clock out. You know, I just do what I'm told to do. And like you said, I'm smoking on the front steps or, you know, my I'm not forced to have a certain culture within the company, right? right. Maybe there's a freedom there that um, the, the owners of different companies allow, you know, their employees to, or maybe they don't want them to do, but there's nothing holding them accountable, sure. you know? So, um, you know, how did you create a different culture within black tie moving? Yeah, that's a very good question, Carrie. I think, I think that, you know, you're right. I mean, most of the blue collar general labor out there yeah. um, is, is not customer facing. So sure. we're in kind of right. a unique position, right? And a lot of company owners don't really care maybe how rough that guy is or, you know, if he can't communicate at a high level or um, if he doesn't take a lot of pride in his job, as long as he gets his job done, right. it's very much task oriented. Um, but, you know, we're in a unique position to where our our movers are a front line of our, of our company. And I knew in the beginning that, you know, number one, me being a consumer, and I was like, man, I, I mean, I would have paid a little extra had I had, you know, six clean cut, you know, professional, um, you know, customer service oriented, friendly guys. Sure. Uh, they communicated well, come into my house and, and make this easy instead of incredibly stressful. Right? right. And I think it all really comes down to, you know, creating a culture where all of your employees take pride in what they do and, and what your, your company stands for mm-hmm. and its mission. And our mission is, is really, like you said, to move people through creating uh, an, the ultimate experience on moving day. And, you know, we we do a lot of things um, from rolling out a red carpet, you okay. know, into our into our customers' homes. Um, you know, we our guys wear tuxedo t-shirts, right? Oh, um, cool. Yeah, we want to be formal, but we're here to move. Right? Sure. So it's, uh, it's one of the, I can't put them out there in a suit obviously right. they'd be a little hot for that but um but it does you know come across like that presentation comes mm-hmm. across as hey look we're here because we're prof- we're the professionals right and um that imagery you know when when we walk up and knock on a customer's door and they answer the door and, and you know that's that first impression is everything sure. so we want to look sharp um we want you know to create you know like i said an experience through there's some presentation things we roll out a red carpet and you know roll uh, you know like red carpets actually throughout their house oh, so, wow. so it's not just a, a visual thing it also yeah. protects their floors sure. and so everything that we do kind of um, you know makes the customer feel good and 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 you know delivers that kind of next level experience because we want we want to take the stress out of moving day so they can kind of sit back and relax and and you know the home buying process it's supposed to be fun right sure. and we go through this fun you know process of buying our first home or our new home right. and and then it's like oh my gosh i have to move you, you know what i mean <laughs> you get and it's kind of like that part. yeah it's like the yeah. spoiler at the end and you know we really um, pride ourselves on on kind of taking you know that customer at you know from the closing table you know and walking them down uh, uh, guiding them through a process of the best moving experience of their life right wow so, that's that's impressive so, so looking for, you know, employees, right? Because, mm-hmm. you know, being someone who runs a company too, you've, you go through a lot to find the right one. Um, and Absolutely. So, a lot like know, dating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, you know, finding what is the right, you know, who are you looking for? You yeah. Know? So we're looking for, you know, young men and women who um, can, number one, lift or carry 150 pounds. So okay. that, that is kind of a requirement if you want to be in the moving industry. Sure. Right. Um, but really, you know, I hire... I hire on um, character and, um, you know, just professionalism and communication first right. because I know, you know, obviously being in the moving industry as long as I had been when I first started my moving company, um, you know, I knew that, that I kind of had to set the tone. And so I was out on the trucks. So I was moving furniture, sure. renting trucks okay. and, and uh, you know kind of leading by example and, and pouring into these men and trying to, you know, duplicate myself right. and them. And, you know, that had a, a, a big I, I think, you know, it left an impression on them. And I think it, it, you know, made me really understand that you always have to, um, you know, you, you can't hire, I can hire a lot of great movers mm-hmm. that are just naturally not going to be great people. Right. Sure. Um, you know, the liars and the thieves and the, you know, guys who just really don't care. Right. Right. So we knew that, you know, just from, you know, I, I was kind of the moving expert by default. I knew that I could go out and hire great men that I could teach to become great movers. Yeah. And most companies try to hire 
for you know a great skill right. as opposed to you know uh, a great characteristics right. of of uh, their employees. So you know if you're good if you're great at what you do, you can always teach somebody else how to be you know pretty pretty close right. to, to, to as good as, as you can do it. And, and some guys turn out even greater, right? I love that. I love that. Because that's actually how I hire within the mortgage world. I have always feel like if you have a good work ethic, you have a good character, you know, you, you've you shown in your previous careers, um, you know, how professional you have been and how Absolutely. well you can exceed and excel, you know, I can teach you the mortgage worlds, right? Absolutely. So I think that that is wonderful. Do you do a lot of trainings with your employees? We like do. when you talk about the trainings, it's not just, is it more customer service trainings and things? Because yep, I so do think, you know, like you said, Sometimes they're not, maybe they know this and they've got great character, but they maybe need a little more. Correct. <laughs> so, in, and yeah, I mean, we look at every one of them. Uh, so we take them through a black tie pro uh, moving certification. Love that. So they go through that for a week. <clears throat> That's customer service classes. That's everything in our warehouse, how to wrap you know, different types of furniture, right. on, you know, and then they go to a week of on the job training uh, where we do not charge our customers for they kind of shadow and and um you know take note and, and are taught along the way um and and then we kind of really decide where we want them to go you know um there's a lot of different opportunities that we have you know between in operations or in sales or mm -hmm. um, business development or general management uh you know we want to come in and create a career path for them not just hire them to say hey look we want you to come be a mover on our team right we want to say hey look i want you to come be a mover on our team but that's just the first step right okay. we have an organization that you can grow within and you know just like there wouldn't be a whole lot of people or a whole lot of young men and women signing up for boot camp if they didn't know that they only had to stay there for a short period sure, of time, right? right? So just creating that path of opportunity for your employees and a, a culture that promotes from within and, um, you know, a, just a, a path for to their success on Love a personal it. level and investing in them, Love you know, it. consistently over time. This is really good information. I'm excited to continue this conversation, Dustin. Hey, so when we come back, we're going to talk more about how you took one truck and was able to duplicate that and really, you know, be the fastest growing or one of the fastest growing movie companies of America here. So excited to have you return and you've been listening to the talk of Music City Real Estate. Super Talk 99.7 WTN, the talk of Music City Real Estate, where we educate and motivate all things real estate. Hey, it's Carrie Ann with CMG Financial and my mortgage team, and I've got Dustin Black in the house this evening. Welcome back, Dustin. Thank you, ma'am. Hey, and we've been talking all about kind of growing a business from, from nothing to something over um, a need in the industry, which I love. And we were talking about the importance of training and really putting a lot of energy into your employees and, and just making and creating a different culture than maybe your competition is, is providing rights which is which is one that you do very well so all Thank the business you. owners out there um, and that's what I really love when I listen to your story is even though I sell mortgages all business owners can learn from each other right Absolutely. we can take your your training on how to package furniture but mm -hmm. I can do the same on how to package a loan right I mean it's at the end of the day we can we just want to provide um, really good training to our, our employees and consistent quality Absolutely. training right yep. I think that's huge yep we have to pour into them and I think that you know when when I first started, and, and it's it's really hard, you know, as a young business to attract uh, the the best people, right? Sure. Um, you know, they they say that you know when we're when we're young and and starting our business, we we will we hire whoever will come work for us, sure. right? <laughs> and then we go into this phase, and then we then we hire like our friends and family, right? <laughs> um, and and then you know you you come to another phase where we hire you know the. Uh, these these employees on on their skill but not necessarily um you know maybe their their culture or you know um their ethics or right. or you know so it's it's um it's funny and, and now you know tony robbins always says you know that that once you get to this corporate you know point and really the size we are now you have to stop you know hiring people that that have not been there and done that before and you have to make sure that you know they they have the same values that you sure. do and and it has to be like almost a perfect fit you know mm -hmm. as you as you grow into those larger organizations but you know when we were young in uh, as I was doing my first moves back in uh, uh, April of 2013 okay uh, you know it was me and some guys that I hired off Craigslist in a in a Penske truck you know what I mean um, did you I, have the black tie vision already in your mind or I did, did that grow I did. Okay, I, awesome. I built the website and, and you know designed these you know really 
really fashionable tuxedo t-shirts. Okay. Uh, and and um, they, they were really bad back then. If I showed you one from 2013, oh gosh, yeah. you'd, you'd laugh at me. But um, now we have much better designers there you go. That, that do a better but job But it's the same vision. I think that's so cool. Like yeah. sometimes we start and we it de- develops into something different. Yep. But I mean, to, to think it kind of worked out that your last name is Black, right? Yep. Is that your last name? Yes, that is. <laughs> is that that's your stage is. name or is that it's really my stage name? name. I love yeah. it. I love it. <laughs> so that's where, so I mean, what a perfect, you know, yeah. um, intro to, well, to Black Tide. You know, I really cool. thought about, you know, just kind of who people wanted in their homes on moving day. Yeah. And, you know, we, we kind of have that like, you know, Butler style. We, yeah. we hire clean cut guys that, um, you know, are, are, conversate well and they're, they're they can make moving fun and, and easy and uh you know they they're they're more customer service oriented mm-hmm. you know we're kind of like a customer service company that moves people right <clears throat> so huge love that yeah love and, that. and you know there's there's a lot of things that um you know that that I think would attract you know those people to us now that we're a large organization, right. but it was harder in the beginning. You know, so you really have to you know create a, a vision at a at a young age in your business and yeah. have the ability to communicate that vision with others and and really you know recruit um, you know recruit with your vision, right? Like, cause these people are going to be, believe in you first. Sure. Cause when you're, when you're small, it's obviously, you know, they're doing business with, with, uh, with Dustin Black, not mm-hmm. Black Tie Moving. Right? right. So we have to really make them a believer of who we are and, and our mission and, and how we're going to do it. Right. So, you know, recruiting was, was really hard in the beginning, uh, just like it is in, in any, you know, startup business. Right. But over time, obviously, um, you know, we were able to give them more work, which, you know, allowed us to, to, to hire more people and give them more, you know, uh, you know, fuller weeks, you know, uh, than we were when we first started. And it was like, hey, you're going to work one day out of the next four, but you're going to work for 12 hours, right? Um, <laughs> because the moving in, you know, it's, it's right. we have peak seasons and peak weeks. Sure. Uh, peaking off, off, se- off peak weeks. So, you know, it's <clears throat> something that um, we, we continued to, you know, just kind of look for good people and hire, like I said, based off of, you know, character and, and uh, values rather than experience in the moving industry. But, you know, taking it from one truck to now, I believe we're, you know, we have over a hundred trucks nationwide wow. that run every day. You know, that's, that's a little bit harder of a, of a feat. You know, yeah. it's, it's uh, finding a few Great people is is not, you know, it's not easy, but it's not that hard. But you know, we have 750 movers across the U.S. now, so you know, and, and we're growing obviously uh, at, a, at an incredible pace. Yeah. So wow. it's hard to kind of keep up with with that growth. But I think just you know, uh, you know, when you're a young business owner, you have to do the recruiting yourself, and you have to pour mm-hmm. into these into these people who you know you want to come on this journey with you of entrepreneurship and, so and really invest th- in them. Yeah, for sure. So now you've got the Penske truck and you've got a few people working with you these yep. long hours and you have this vision, right? So you're having to get out there and sell Absolutely. that concept to maybe real estate agent A or consumer B type of thing, right? To get them to buy into black tie, sure. you know, moving. So what did you do in the early stages to get people just to turn heads? Absolutely. So it was a lot of, a lot of the branding kind of did that. Okay. Like, wow. I've never seen like a professional luxury moving company. Right. You know what I mean, and when I started it, I really did start it, you know, for my target consumer was the luxury real estate market. I see. Great. Right? Um, it, it's since then expanded. We've been able to bring you know luxury moving experience uh, at affordable price now. So Love we're it. the same price as any of our large competitors that have their license and insurance and good ratings online. Right. Nice. Um, so you know I think that you know it was a lot of the the branding and the people behind it. You know that that created those experiences mm-hmm. for their customers. You know. Um, on the front lines. Cause I mean, there's no better form of advertising than being undeniably great at what, what you do. Mm-hmm. Right. So, you know, if I went and called this company black tie moving and we showed up and I had the same guys that showed up to my house, you know, it, my problem, my company probably wouldn't have gone right. very far. Right, right? right. But, you know, I think that uh, just understanding how to get in front of the people, you know, the influencers that have the ability to send you business and refer business to you, like, you know, real estate agents, obviously, in, in our business, storage facilities, apartment complexes, you know, those are those are the influencers of the consumers that are moving, right? Right. Um, so providing, um, you know, 
either uh, programs for them to help them grow and to, you know kind of be a you know an asset to them and in on on their on their little utility belt when they're trying to guide their clients through the best home buying experience. You know, a lot of their home buying experiences get spoiled by by the move at you know at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. So whenever they go out of their way to refer a moving company and and they know that they're going to take care of them and kind of hold them accountable, right? It, it goes a long way with the the consumer. Right. So, you know, that and, and just, you know, like any other business, you have to, you know, once you come up with a concept and, you know, you get the right people behind it, you know, you, you, you nail it and then you scale it, right? Like, you know, you, we, we didn't look at our hundredth move until we were done with our first, right? Like it was, it was one of those things that, um, you know, you, you have to perfect the little things at very early on mm-hmm. uh, because obviously, you know, bad habits, you know, amongst your employees and, and things like that just can, can spread and, and sure. become a cancer in your organization. So I think it's, you know, all about holding, you know, your people, creating systems and processes, um, you know, for your, for your employees uh, to set them up for success and then just holding, you know, them accountable. Um but you know, going after you know our our ideal client online. I mean, there's a there's a you know there's a strategy to that. Obviously, um, if you're in the consumer services business, people are you know looking for your uh, looking for your type of services online, and, right. and SEO was a big part of that. I, I invested in SEO to, at uh, you know very early on, and that's the long game that most business owners and and uh, they, they really. They, they don't continue to invest in and because they want immediate return and results, sure. right? They're not patient for the results, yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And, and um, so, you know, then we went to places like Yelp and Home Advisor and, you know, Angie's List and Amazon. And, and you know, you have to study where your consumers or where your buyers mm-hmm. are buying your product or services. So, um, you know, we really just, you know, identified those and then tested with, you know, tested them all. <clears throat> tried them all and um, you know picked the top three that worked the best and invested everything that we could in that and Smart. you know we, um, we you know early on whenever I bought my first truck you know I, I just reinvested my profits at an early age and tried to be you know incredibly um, you know resourceful uh, with building my assets which would increase my profit margins you know in over time and you know it, it, I think just you know getting out there and you know, you're the face of your business. And, right. and like I said, it's, it's, um, people, you know, giving people a reason, you know, presenting a problem and, and creating a solution, um, with it, with a unique offer. Right. And, and when you can do that and you're truly solving people's problems and you're truly, uh, serving them at the highest, highest level in everything that you do, people feel that. And, and, you know, you know, I, I know you care about your clients because right. I know how passionate you are about mm-hmm. it. And we're just as passionate about moving, you know, people and, and, and their furniture. So, you know, I think that uh, a lot of a lot of business owners um, seem to, you know, kind of, you know, hit a hit a growth, you know, growing pains around those second, you know, year third year yeah and you know just my advice to them would just be to keep going it's not always going to be easy this is you know i can sit up here and talk about how we're the fastest growing you know one of the fastest growing private companies in america but you know really there's a ton of sacrifice you know that goes along with that and you know without that sacrifice we can't find success right so it's it's um something you know that you just have to motivate yourself and believe in yourself and put great people around you on your team that are experts in everything that you're not so that you know you you kind of have a dream team so to speak you know we have a coo that's um you know ex-military that's ran task force in in dallas texas my nashville branch manager is an ex you know nashville uh, police officer yes and um you know it's it's putting those people in the in the right spots mm-hmm. So, you know, and they're so familiar with system, system, systems, right? Absolutely. I love that. And, you know, when you talk about for all those business owners out there and ones that want to be, you know, finding your influencers, you know, somebody, your cheerleaders, right? Absolutely. Those people that just, you know, live and breathe everything that you've got going on there, which is huge. So I love that. And then what you were saying about is just studying your consumer, sure. just knowing everything that they would want and their needs and everything and taking the time and the, the finances to actually find that right. So take, you know, 
know, a step back to go five steps forward, I Absolutely. think is, is huge. So you've done an amazing job with that. And um, I'm just so grateful to have you part Thank of the show so tonight. Appreciate hey, so you, you have been listening to the CEO of Black Tie Moving, Dustin Black. And we have one more segment, really excited to talk about, you know, for those consumers out there, you know, what are you looking for when hiring a moving company, right? Because there sure. are some specific, probably top five things you want to be on the Absolutely. lookouts for. So uh, when you come back, uh, we will be talking about that tonight. And you've been listening to the talk of Music City Real Estate. Super Talk 99.7 WTN, the talk of Music City Real Estate, where we educate and motivate all things real estate. Hey, this is Carrie Ann, and I'm back here with Dustin Black, the CEO of Black Tie Moving. And we are just so grateful to have you part of our show this evening. So thank you again for coming out tonight. My pleasure. And so the, I thought tonight we would kind of just discuss with all those consumers out there, even for myself, you know, w- maybe a few of us might move not every so often, just that once every so many years. Um, But what do we want to look for when hiring a moving company? I think that's really a good, good question to ask because, you know, sometimes for me, I'm just like, oh, that's good. That's cost efficient. You know, I'm just going to hire them, like you said, and learning more about, I get... I didn't realize what I just did until I see the people showing up, right? So right. It, it's uh, so share a little bit about what you think, um, what the consumer should look for. Absolutely. So, you know, the first and, and most important thing is to check the the moving company's license and insurance with okay. the state uh, DOT. And, and you can also look it up on the U.S. DOT. So about, I would say... 40% of the moving companies that advertise online actually do not have their license or insurance to move your furniture. So You're it's kidding. pretty scary. Oh, wow. Um, there are a ton of rogue moving companies out there that, you know, these guys rent trucks, they hire day labor, they advertise online and put nice pictures up. But then at the end of the day, they, they're actually not uh, licensed to do what they're doing. What they're telling you that they are. Wow. So it's it's a pretty scary uh, process. So first of all check there, check their online reviews. You know, with the Better Business Bureau, obviously the rating there, the Better Business Bureau does also verify each moving company's license and insurance. So that's a kind of a quick place to check oh, if you good. don't want to do all the research. Yeah. Uh, they will actually give them an F if their insurance or, or license is not up to date. So um, that's a great first place to Perfect. to check. Um, obviously, you know, Google, uh, Yelp, you know, Home Advisor, Trustpilot, all of these online, you know, reputation um, management companies uh, are great place, place to, just to go and, and check out whatever companies that you're, you know, you're looking for um, to either check them out or to find, you know, mm-hmm. a, a, the best one. So uh, I, I would say that, you know, the secondly, I think that, you know, our insurance, when people think about moving insurance, they think that if a moving company comes into their home and, okay. they, and they damage a thousand dollar TV, Right. That, well, you said that you were licensed and insured. Sure. Right? Well, licensed and insured doesn't mean that we're insured to cover all of the damages if they occur on a move. It just means that we're insu- we have cargo insurance. So if the truck wrecks going down, you know, the highway, yeah. then you're covered. Um, but accidental damage insurance is only paid out at 60 cents per pound. And Ooh. it is an industry standard. So, you know, you can check with your homeowner's insurance policy. A lot of times you can get like a three or four day relocation oh, temporary that's insurance okay. that will cover your goods up to a hundred or even a million dollars in some cases. Yeah. So those are always great places to check just to, you know, we obviously, you know, if you're hiring a good moving company, even, you know, we have an 8% damage rate at Black Tie. The national average is somewhere around 30 35%. Wow. Yeah. So um, 35% of those moves that happen on a daily basis have, you know, a, a lot of damage and end up costing customers a lot of money because they think that the, you know, 100 pound, $1,000 TV that, that a mover just broke, right. they're going to replace that for $1,000. Well, they actually give them $60, 60 cents on the pound. Oh my. So imagine if you, somebody were to break your $1,000 <laughs> TV and then come <laughs> hand you $60 for it. Um, I would not be very happy. <laughs> absolutely. So, <laughs> Black Tie, you better not drop my TV. <laughs> we'll, we won't do that. I promise. Uh, so, we also, you know, at Black Tie, we have multiple uh, options for our customers. So, okay. you know, we have third party insurance where they can get up to one hundred thousand dollars in accidental damage insurance. We kind of guide them through that process. Some people, you know, they they don't really need it. 
you know what I mean? And and uh, it, but it's not that expensive, and it's always a great thing to purchase if you've sure. invested a lot of money uh, in in your furnishings, right? right. Um, or if you have you know a lot of furnishings that are being transported. You know, I think second or third would be, you know, ask the mover, moving company if they hired day labor, right? Ask if they drug test and, um, you know, uh, background check their employees before they send them into their home. Right. You know, I can tell you that probably 90% of them don't. Uh, you know, we we have obviously police officers that run our operations. Sure, right. Uh, so we, we have like very intensive background checks and, and uh, we even, we even uh, you know, obviously we do random drug tests. They do drug tests whenever they, right. uh, you know, come in, you know, to, to employ or to uh, get employment. So we, uh, uh, that's huge. Cause and I think making us feel safe and knowing that um, is huge. And there's a lot of single moms out there. You yep. know, there's a lot of, you know, folks that, you know, just want to feel comfortable, you yep. know, or, you know, you leave me at home and you run off to work Absolutely. and I'm supposed to make sure everything gets moved. You want to feel comfortable, you know, if, if you're female in the house or, or anybody in the house for that matter. And also making sure, you know, um, your children feel safe and, Absolutely. and your, and your, you know, your furniture and, and all your, you know, sometimes it's, it's the ugliest piece of furniture, but you've had it for years and there's some, there's some deep meaning, you know, yeah. there and, and you want to make sure that um, everything's well taken care of. So that's, that's huge. I love that. I didn't know you could um, have the extra insurances and stuff. Yeah, so. that's, that's a, that's a big one. And, you know, I think that whenever we, you know, whenever you're pricing moving companies, you know, everybody kind of has this assumption that like all movers are created equal and it's just not true. Sure. Right. We, um, you know, we hired a much you know, different standard and, and, uh, we provide, you know, 26 foot trucks as opposed to a lot of these companies, you know, they'll quote you a low hourly rate. Well, they're bringing a 16 foot truck out. It's, they're going to have to take multiple, multiple trips, trips, right? right. Um, do, you know, you ask, ask the mover if they charge for drive time to and from your location. Okay. A lot of these, uh, companies will not tell you about certain fees and things like that. And, and then they'll start their moving clock from the time that they leave their office. So you're paying for them to sit in traffic. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And we and don't want to do that to, in Nashville. Welcome to Nashville. Right. Yeah. Exactly. What's traffic? Does anybody know the yeah. definition of that? Too funny. So, so our clock only starts, it starts, you know, when we arrive, it ends immediately Very nice. you know, upon completion. And we charge a $99 service fee for fuel and all that stuff that's, that's kind of in that travel time. So it's very transparent. Mm-hmm. Um, a, when we take in when they when we take inventory with a mover and we tell them about you know what we have, it's always great to be as transparent as possible because mm-hmm. you know with us we have some really fancy technology that in a ten minute call I can go through your four thousand square foot house and I can tell you ninety six percent of the time I'll be uh, within ninety percent of the estimate that I quoted you today oh, okay. versus what you'll pay at, at at the end of the move. Wow! Um, so we have very very um, you know smart technology that that kind of helps us save your. time time of taking off work, coming out and meeting us for an in-home estimate, sure, wow, you know, things yeah. like that. But I would definitely, um, you know, make sure that they have the inventory, right? You, you know, they can, because they can tell you whatever you want to hear. And a lot of them do and, and will. And if you don't really know the right questions to ask, then, you know, it, it's hard for not to get one, you know, take, get and take advantage of. I know, you, know you don't I mean? want so, that at all, you yeah. know, because you do budget so much for that, right? Absolutely. I mean, when it comes to purchasing a home and finalizing your mortgage, you know, you've some some clients have already used sometimes every penny, you know, and making sure that they just have enough to budget for the, their move because Absolutely. it does, you know, cost cost a little bit, you know, to do that. You know, what I've heard today is is you know you've you've changed. Um, the culture of and, and maybe you disrupted a little bit of the industry, you know, yeah. where it was going down one path and you decided to totally change it up with that T-shirt, tuxedo yeah. T-shirt, right? <laughs> In the Penske truck many, many years ago. Yep. But, you know, it's just so cool to to see how, you know, you stay true to your word, which I, I've seen. Um, yeah. And, you know, you're only as good as the last move you've done. And I think you um, started that many years ago and you've done a great job. And, um executing, you know, complete success. So Thank congratulations so I really appreciate uh, with you. all of that. And I really love hanging with other business owners that are like-minded, that leave with their hearts, and you're you're one of those. So I'm just Thank very you. grateful. Monty and I are very grateful to have you part, part of the show. And hopefully all the business owners out there um, have learned a lot about growing your business and taking it to the next level and how to really um, infuse a lot into your employees because that is all that we have. We're only as good as who we surround ourselves with, right? And so yeah. um, you've done an amazing job 
job uh, with that. And for the consumers out there, if you're looking for a quality builder, excuse me, quality moving company, uh, which is Black Tie Moving Company, what is a good, they can see you online, right? Yeah, they is can there find a good us, phone number there? Yep, at blacktiemoving.com or at 615-900-2641. Great, blacktiemoving.com. Check them out. They have moved my family um, a couple times, just been um, very impressed with, with their complete uh, service. So thank you again, um, Dustin, for being part of the show. We're excited to have you listen every Sunday evening at 5 p.m. We will see you next week. You've been listening to the talk of Music City Real Estate.